Hi, I'm Leila Peterson, beauty editor for Edgar's Mag, and this is Beauty on the Couch. I'm very excited to announce my next guest. She's been on my radar for quite some time, and I love the content she generates. Please welcome Nabila. Hi, Nabila. Hi, Leila. Thank you so much for having me. Lovely having you on the couch today. <laughs> So, uh, Nabila, I must admit, I started in following you initially because of your style. Mm -hmm. I love Thank you. your style. <laughs> um, but I love the new beauty content coming through. Um, and you've even been named one of Edgar's Beauty Squad members. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you share with my viewers some of your beauty secrets that you've learned in the industry? So, brows are super important to me. I feel like it really frames a face and I really love a fluffy brow. So, a very cheap and easy way to achieve that is by the soap brow technique. So, I just use a bit of glycerin soap that you can find at any drugstore and a spoolie. And then you can use some water as well, but I use Fix Plus just because it's easier. So, what I do is I just spray a bit of Fix Plus into the soap and then I lather the spoolie full of soap and then I use that to brush up my ears. Okay. It leaves your ears staying in that fluffy position all day okay. and it also makes your ears appear a bit fuller. But then what I do is because my brows are so thin, I use this MAC styler. It has like a really, really fine tip. Fine right? tip. It's kind of like an eyeliner but for your brows. Wow. So just to um, add in a bit of like fill in, yeah, in but like almost natural. So. Oh, very natural, very, very natural. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, I love that tip. I'm definitely yeah. going to use it. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> so now with your brows, you're always pairing it with soft and glowy, dewy skin. Yeah. And I love your complexion. Is there any secret there? So mainly skincare, but I do, I really love using Fix Plus again. I like layering it in between like makeup application. So before I do my makeup and then like in between different steps, of course. I feel like it really um, adds that glow, it adds hydration and it also makes your foundation and the rest of your makeup look one with your skin, if you know what I mean. I'm glad you actually mentioned that because I do feel that makeup should not cover all those imperfections, which yeah, is yeah, rather yeah. enhance your beauty than cover it up and not look as cakey. No, so that's a great yeah. way of making your makeup almost melt into your, your skin into your and skin. look more natural. Yeah. Another technique I really love using is using cream products. Even with my blush and bronzer, it kind of just makes your skin look more natural mm, again mm. and I really love using um, the Benetton so it's basically it's a blush but it's actually a tint so you can use it on your cheeks and on your lips and it kind of just makes your skin look flushed if yes. you know what I mean and still skin like you know when you put pr powder products on top of your skin it doesn't look like skin anymore. yeah 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 so with the Benetton it kind of just gives it that glow and flushed. I agree, Nabila. I'm such a fan of that Benefit Benetint. It just yeah. gives your, your your complexion that natural flush and awakens, you know, just gives it make, makes yes. it look brighter and awake. Yeah, and I definitely think makeup shouldn't be piled on, even when it comes to my foundation and concealers and things like that. I tend, when I'm not doing a, f a full face, like on a day-to-day -day basis, I tend to just put foundation or concealer where I need to put it. So like, yeah. for example, I really love my freckles, so I don't cover my freckles. So yeah, that's so you'll just, just like a, you know any blemishes or any under blem dark yeah. So I, I I basically just put it in places where I need to like hide or cover the imperfections. Okay. Yeah. But talking about imperfections, I love freckles and I love your freckles Thank too. You. <laughs> and I believe that you also kind of enhance them sometimes. Yeah, I do. I enhance them when I'm wearing a fuller face, for example, because then they covered up. So I really love my freckles, and when I'm wearing a fuller coverage foundation, I like to enhance them because they're obviously hidden. Um, so what I like doing, one of the tricks I do, okay. is I use a small stippling brush and any cream product. This is a brow product you can use, a okay. cream brow product. Okay. Or like a foundation kind of palette that has a darker shade over there. And then I kind of just dip it very lightly in the cream product and then place freckles where I want them to be. Yes. And because it's a brush and you're not using a pen to create like little freckles, it's a bit more it natural. Looks a bit looking. natural, yeah, because it doesn't look too uniform, it looks a bit more messy and but more imperfect. Oh, that's great. I yeah. love that. Very, <laughs> very, very interesting. Nabila, I believe you have one more golden rule to share with us. I do, and it's actually such a simple thing that I feel like a lot of women tend to neglect when they're doing their makeup. So just set your makeup, really just set your makeup so it can stay there of all course, day. So that it can just last longer. Exactly, because I don't want to go through my day and then like two hours later my makeup's deteriorating already yeah so i really love using the glam glow mine looks so messed up already there's like very little obviously it's a great product <laughs> i love it honestly um this it has like quite a bit of fragrance but it does it really does keep your makeup on all day 
and it also gives you that extra glow. Oh wow. Yeah. Thank you so much Nabila. Thank you. I've definitely learned a thing or two and I'm sure our viewers have as well. Yeah. In part two of Beauty on the Couch, Nabila will take us through her fragrance wardrobe.